Okay, so on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install um, USB Loader GX Tab Mod. Um, this mod just makes everything look a little neater on USB Loader GX. Um, first, I'm going to install the channel using uh, Weemaw Lite. So if you already have the USB Loader uh, GX channel, uh, it, it's just going to replace it. But I'm doing it from fresh, so I don't have one yet, so I'm just going to install it. So there's a uh, Weemaw light. Load it up. Uh, go down to the WAD manager. Press A. Uh, press A on the Wii SD slot. Go down where you have your WADs. Press A. Um, there's the USB loader GX mod. Press A and press A to install. Shouldn't take too long. Press any key to continue. Press B and then press home. Takes you back to the homebrew channel. And now press home again. Exit the system menu. Now you should have the USB loader GX uh, channel. So there it is. Um, so let's start it up. Now make sure you have your um, USB drive uh, plugged into your Nintendo Wii. And there you go. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have the Wii tab on top with all the Wii games. And then the GameCube tab. There's all the GameCube games and then the WiiWare games. It's going to have all your uh, virtual console stuff. Um, so to set up each one, um, you go down to this tab. Uh, so this is for the Wii games. So just press OK. Don't check anything else. Just for this section. Uh, GameCube, same thing. Go down to the little tab. Just pick GameCube games, okay. WiiWare is the same thing. Go over here. Pick your NAND channels and Yumi NAND channels. Go to okay, and they should all appear. Um, this is basically all your channels. Um, here's the game wads. Um, I already have these covers on my... Um, SD card. That's why I have them all. Um, so there's uh, Super Mario 3. And there's uh, Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. So all these games are all set up already. Um, when it comes to the GameCube games. Same thing. I already have all the covers. You can download all the cover, uh, covers if you'd like. Um, I already have them all in the big folder on my SD card. So as you can see. I have every single uh, cover for my games. I just like this look better. You can also change it. Here's my Wii games. And there's all the covers. If you want to change the view, you can go down here. Just like normal, you can just change it to this style. Just like that. You can also have it like this. I just think this menu looks a lot better. Um, but this is the one I like the most. It's easy to see the covers. Um, if you're not seeing your covers, um, you got to go under the settings. Um, go over to uh, custom paths and then wherever you put your covers that's um, you got to tell the program where to get the covers from so mine are set up for the SD and then slash covers that's where all my 3d covers are 
um, I recommend using the three, 3D covers. I think it looks nicer. But you can also use the disc or the 2D covers if you like. Um, the only downfall using this uh, USB Loader GX is that um, there's no option for the SD card. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can only use um, your hard drive on this one. So that's the only downfall, but um, uh, mostly people just use the hard drives anyways, so it shouldn't be a big factor. Um, so there you go. Um, I just think this looks a lot neater, cleaner, with the tabs on top. You can just pick whatever you want. Um, now we'll get over on the PC um, and I'll show you um, the download file and exactly how to set it up on your SD card and get this uh, USB Loader GX mod going. Okay, so now on the PC, um, this is what the zip file is going to look like. Um, you're going to have the apps folder and then Weemaw Lite and then uh, USB Loader GX. And then you'll have the WAD, and that's where you have your USB Loader GX mod. Um, so now on the right hand side, as you can see, that's my um, SD card for the Wii. So just drag the USB Loader GX folder into this folder. And then the WADs, you just drag over the USB Loader GX mod into the WADs folder. Um, and then you can create a folder uh, called covers. And this is where I have all my uh, covers, as you can see. There's a full set. So this is where I have all the covers for all the games. Um, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, I am going to leave the download link in the pinned comment. So uh, go check it out. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.